Hello and welcome to Mech Armada. This is a roguelike game that features mechs at the forefront of the action. And if you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This video is kindly sponsored. Now, Mech Armada actually comes out of early access into its full version 1.0. Uh, probably just when you're watching this, actually. And in my opinion, I've played this game before, by the way, on the channel. And in my opinion, the amount of improvements that they have made are staggering. And I'm going to show those to you today. The main premise of the game is that you're going to have to progress through a certain campaign map. You're going to customize and build your mechs as you go, improve them with energy and defeat the swarm along the way. As you can see, these are the swarm enemies and you can choose your path along the city. And obviously you're in a post-apocalyptic wasteland kind of thing. Anyway, um, this is the map that you progress along and I could have chosen a variety of different paths, but I've chosen this one. I'm in the middle of a run at the moment, but I will show you a fresh run after this. So for example, I could have gone along this path or I could have gone along here and you get different enemies, different events, different weapons, all kinds of things that will happen differently depending on what you choose. You also have engineering available here as well. You have these things called credits which allow you to develop certain new randomized parts. So for example, for me, I, um, I'm i going to just show you on this random mech that I made. So. I gained this, yes, I gained this part right here. This is a dodging part. Basically allows you to um, add this to your mech. As you can see, it's basically a body. So instead of this, which is just your basic, really, <laughs> really basic, really simple body, which is this, you instead have this one, which gives you two weapon slots and a 20% chance to dodge attacks, as well as 5 HP. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is actually pretty cool. However, you've got to balance everything out, because if I were to use my most expensive parts, in other words, if I were to use the dodging body, the tank base, like I can do here, and then I were to use, for example, two double doubles, which is my, at the moment, my favorite weapon, if I were to use two of these, then it's going to be a very expensive mech. 13 energy it's going to take. Very expensive indeed. However, I actually have one of those, as you can see right there. Yeah, I do have one of those. And uh, hopefully it's not going to get destroyed when we actually finally go in here. You can also have upgrades. So, for example, you can actually upgrade things with credits as well. So if I wanted to, what I could do is I could upgrade my mini tracks base to mini tracks 2.0. And that would then further increase the HP that it provides to the mech that it's attached to, as well as increasing its energy cost. Of course, at the moment, I'm not sure if I really want to do that because I'm not really sure how that's going to affect my overall mechs. So we're just going to go with what we have right now and hopefully i'm not going to get myself completely murdered anyway let's start the battle and see how we do all right so first of all what we want to do is we want to try and get into that center position getting into that center position is extremely important for us because that is going to allow us to gain energy energy is of course used to spawn additional mechs into the battlefield it's going to be used to do pretty much everything that you would want so we need to get there as soon as possible and the best way to do that well i guess the best way to do that is just to randomly move our mechs forward and hopefully we will get into range and then be able to do things. Ah, yes. Okay, so there's also this transform button. Transforming basically allows you to go into the um, editing menu, I guess. Sort of the engineering menu kind of thing. And what you can do is you can add or remove parts from your mechs any time you want. Which is actually kind of cool in my opinion. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to put a machine gun on this thing. And we're going to transform it for zero energy. 
So we do that, boom, there you go. This thing has a machine gun now. So thankfully that is actually the case because it didn't have a weapon before because I was trying to create the cheapest possible mech. But thankfully this machine gun doesn't actually use any energy. So that's pretty nice. Anyway, let's end the turn and see what the swarm has to offer. They're gonna move very, very aggressively. They mostly always move aggressively and uh, hopefully we're gonna be able to attack them. So for example, I can now use this mech right here to attack attack this guy I probably will be doing that hopefully it's gonna result in a kill yes it does very nice we were quite lucky there because we rolled very high on the first attack because I'm using a double double weapon here but on the second attack I only did one damage but maybe um, maybe I would have rolled a bit higher if it only you know if it had a little bit more than one hp but obviously this is very much a case of well will it or won't it you know sometimes it will sometimes it won't so it's a bit of a bit of a toss-up really anyway we're gonna go over here pick up this this is one of the meta energy things which can be used um basically to just get improvements meta progression th things like that you know outside of the game and we're going to be moving our other mech over here and then can we fire on anything we can't fire on anything with this can't fire anything with this and nothing with that either yeah i'm i'm messing up a bit here i am i'm gonna admit it i am messing up a, a little bit with my positioning at the moment but i don't think it will really cause too many difficulties or at least i hope not Ooh, this this could be problematic okay we're gonna place this guy here he's gonna do some damage yes thankfully he was able to eliminate that guy and now we can move this fellow or yeah it seems like we mm, yep yep i you know what i probably should have done probably should have built a uh probably should have built a flying unit or something that might have made more sense can i destroy this i can't destroy that that is real unfortunate isn't it yeah, that is real unfortunate. Oh, well, never mind, never mind. We are now on the energy um, energy little place there. So, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. Now, the only thing that I, I will say about us being in this positioning right now is that it is very, very nice for us to eliminate enemies. We can basically just stand here, wail on the opponent as they walk in, like so. And then I don't really have to worry about any of the rest, which is actually kind of nice. But unfortunately, now I can't move on to the energy pad, which is kind of bad, I guess. Anyway, what I can do is I can spawn this thing right here. And this is just this is just a random mech. This is just a random mech. I don't I, I'm spending two energy to spawn it. It's going to take uh, a little bit of damage, but it, basically it is doing its thing. It is th th that is its purpose. That is its purpose for me at the moment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to deal damage here. I can fire twice because I have two double doubles, which is the machine gun that I'm using. And I don't need to worry about anything else. But of course, as I said before, my positioning is, is, is pretty bad. I mean, I'm gonna be the first to admit it. My positioning in this particular level is pretty awful. In the, in the previous level, on the other hand, I actually did pretty well, in my opinion. I actually feel like uh, what I did was, was decent, but this time around, not so much. So yeah, ah, nice kill, very good, okay. Um, yeah, I'm unable to use my other mechs because I am very stubbornly wanting to get all the energy from this particular position. And now we have the ability to kill this last mob. There we go, taking him out, and there we are. So that is the uh, pr pretty much the basic gameplay loop of how the um, uh, of how Mech Armada works. Now, the one thing that you're going to have to watch out for, of course, is moving. Yeah, we're going to have to move along in this level here. I actually did not realize that, but that is fine. Move over here, move over there. What I really like, by the way, about the game is that you can move all of your mechs at the same time. You don't have to wait for your mechs to reach their positions before you move the next one. I really like that kind of si simultaneous movement because if you don't have that, every single turn is going to take a lot longer. A lot longer. So it's really nice that you don't have to wait for it in that way. And otherwise, I could spawn another mech if I wanted to. I could spawn another one of these things. Um, it has a minigun on it. I don't think I really want to. So I'm just going to end the turn 
and we can kind of just relax a little bit while the hound comes up to us. And then maybe, should I just spawn it? Should I get it out the way and just spawn it? I, I don't really know whether I should or not. This thing is going to attack us. A bit problematic that he is actually going to attack us first. I wonder how much damage he's capable of doing. Let's take a look. Nope, there we go. <laughs> my dodging body. Yes, my dodging body actually came through for me, if you can believe it. That is kind of amazing. Okay, and there you go. There's a victory for us right there. Real nice amount of damage being done by our double-double machine guns. And we can now continue onward. So, yeah, now we have another choice. Where do we want to go? What do we want to do? Upgrades, engineering. We can go here. We can buy some additional bodies or weapons or or transport. All of this stuff is available to us. So I could develop some more transport here. So that's exactly uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I could go for tracks. I could go for another buggy right here. I could go for a buggy. Um, buggy might actually be pretty cool because it allows me to move faster. So I think I might get that because that's going to allow me three movement instead of two. Could be useful. And we'll develop another body as well. Bodyguard. Adjacent mechs get plus three armor. Could be very useful. What is that? Always roll maximum damage? Gambler? Hmm. That sounds that sounds really interesting, actually. I'm going to take this one. Looks very cool, too, in my, my opinion. Okay, so we have some upgrades here as well. So, of course, we could get Gambler 2.0, which is going to make it cost 12 energy. <laughs> good luck. Good luck. If you if you do that, then very, very good luck to you. Um, yeah, but I, I personally won't be doing that. I might want to go for Double Double 2.0 because that will do so much damage. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to upgrade Double Double right there. And then we're going to go on to our mechs and we can now spawn something if we want or I can edit something. So I have 18 energy at the moment. Technically what I could do is because I, um, I've, I've reached the max amount of uses for um, this mech right here, which is unfortunate, but I can spawn another one of these and technically i can edit this one as well so if i want to i could get double double 2.0 which might make sense mm, uh, can i get the gambler as well on this thing i can't don't have enough energy for that unfortunately mm, what about the dodger no i can't do that one either okay so we'll just do the basic one and we'll use double double um double double 2.0 i think that seems pretty cool so let's do that. And there we go. Now he is upgraded. And uh, upgrades are pending. So we can now upgrade these. So let's actually... Oh, I, I didn't want to actually swap them around. But okay. Doesn't really matter too much. And let me see. So I'm going to upgrade this guy. I think we can upgrade all of them actually. Yep, there we go. And I now have zero energy. <laughs> oh dear. Yes, I now have zero energy. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, so now where do we want to go? Well, do we want to go that way or this way? Well, we are going to unlock a new weapon. Either the heal gun or the flamethrower. I think I would like the flamethrower. The heal gun actually sounds very cool, though, because I can heal my own mechs. But I really like the flamethrower for dealing massive damage over two tiles. So I'm going to actually go for that one first. I could be making a huge error here, but I'm going to try it out nevertheless. I love these, uh, the uh, seamless way that we go into the battlefield as well. I can literally just click campaign battlefield, campaign battlefield if I want to. And I can make as many, well, as many changes as I want, which is actually pretty cool. I like it. Anyway, let's start the battle. Obviously, I can't go out of here now, but, you know, still, that's uh, neither here nor there really. Okay, so let's make. Um, yeah, I'm. I'm. I kind of. I kind of need energy, so I'm very much hoping that I will be able to do that soon enough. I, I hope that I will get some energy just because it's the start of the fight. I might be able to, because I'm getting this recharge. Ah, at the end of a battle. At the end of a battle. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're gonna need to get over there then, I suppose. Let's see, can I reach this guy? No, I can't reach him, but I could move and then reach him, I think. Yeah, I might be able to. 
So let me let me go over this way. Yeah, he's in my range. He's actually in. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna go straight up to him right now. And let me see. Yes, I can reach him. Nice. Good damage. Okay, so now this mech is going to get attacked. And now we can move over here. Mm, this is actually really good. I'm going to be able to kill this in one turn, I think. Look at how powerful this mech is. This is pretty crazy. Okay. Yeah, I, I've never actually used a body that has two weapon slots before because it's just been so incredibly expensive, at least in the previous version of Mech Armada. But now, look at it. Now look what we can do. Because they've made it so much more balanced and so much more, mm, shall we say, accessible to gain energy that you so badly require to make these changes work. Really like that. Really like that. A whole bunch. Unfortunately, this mech is going to take some massive damage. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> I was about to say I'm not entirely sure how much damage it's going to take. But apparently a lot. Okay, yeah. Let's move over here then. Uh, I'd actually like to get on that energy over there. But unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to. So I guess I'm just going to finish this enemy off if I can. There we go. Doing so much damage with Double Double 2.0. It's pretty amazing. Okay, yeah. So unfortunately, we still don't have any energy because I am a bit of an imbecile when it comes to that. We now have Flamethrower, which is pretty cool. And here's a boss. Oh, yes. Here is a boss. Let's just go straight on into that. I could potentially summon some dummy mechs, which might actually make sense. But these dummy mechs are really... They're really bad. Let's just say that. They're really bad. The reason why they're bad is because we don't really have a cheap way of making them move fast. Because we obviously can edit them if we want to. And we can make it so that they use the buggy. But that's going to increase their cost by three. Which is way too much in my opinion. As you can see. It's going to be way, way, way too much. So the only thing I can really do is just spawn these the way they are with, uh, I don't know, with the machine gun on them. And that's pretty much all I can do. So I guess what I'll do is I'll spawn two of these for the amount of energy that I have. I only have five mechs maximum. I can only have five mechs maximum, so do bear that in mind. And now we have this guy, which is a massive boss that will murder us very very quickly so let's see if i can actually do a decent job against this this is indeed a boss battle so let's see what we can do i'm very worried about this okay here we go um okay so i, I guess the best thing for us to do is just move forward <laughs> yeah let's just move forward uh, yeah sounds like a good plan doesn't it i'm going to get absolutely murdered what do you bet i would bet a lot of money to say yes okay these guys oh they're all moving oh, they're all moving forward at the same time i'm worried okay so let me see i am in range to do damage to this guy i'm gonna move this mech onto the energy and i'm actually wondering whether i should murder the ads first or whether i should mm, i'm gonna use my dummy mechs just to literally run straight up Oh, they can't really? This can't do damage in, uh, in, in, in that range? Okay, that is unfortunate. Okay, I can do some damage to the boss. I guess I will do some damage to the boss while I have the ability to do so still, you know, might, might as well. And what is this? That's a minigun. This can't do anything either. I guess we're just going to be taking some little bits of dummy damage here and there. And I will do some damage to this. That's some pretty good damage, actually. All things considered. Now let's just do some damage to the boss. Oh, we moved off of the generator. That is bad. Okay, well, we're doing some good damage to the boss itself. I'm actually wondering, am I going to die? Does the the boss... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I think I might have a problem. 
Um, yes. We might have a problem here. That's a pretty significant problem, as you might, uh, as you might imagine, you know, it's a pretty significant problem to lose one of your most powerful mechs. Yeah, we're, we're done. I don't think I can really do much else here. I can eliminate this guy, but that is pretty much all I can do. And then the boss is just gonna whack my remaining mech and completely murder it. Yep. Oh well, never mind. That's how it goes, you know. That is how it goes. However, there you go. We do get a little bit of experience and we are now able to continue again. So I can now buy an additional improvement. So for example, I actually increased my starting credits uh, beforehand. I'm actually going to be increasing my starting energy this time around. I very much appreciate more starting energy, please. And we also have the ability to choose our run configuration as well. So if I want to, what I can do is I can do something like... Mm, I can change this guy around a little bit. So we can do... Mm, well, that's basically all we can do, really, because here's the thing. You know that dodging body that I had before? Yeah, you don't actually have that unless you unlock it through this, uh, this research tree or progression tree or whatever you want to call it. And uh, the, only, the, the, the only reason why I had it before is because it unlocks it in the randomized event that you get by going through certain nodes on the campaign map. So that actually does have a pretty significant um, impact, shall we say, on the, uh, on the success rate of your, um, you know, of your chances of winning. So let's see, um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a double-double on this guy. I think, I think he kind of needs to be a bit more effective than he is. So we're just gonna do that. It's gonna cost four energy to spawn him now though, which is really, I don't know whether that's worth it to be honest, but yeah, just a quick look at the amount of parts that you can actually get. By the way, you see all these? Yeah, these are all the parts you can get, and then obviously I have a bunch of parts that are still um, still locked. But um, there's actually something that I wanted to bring to your attention. There is a sandbox mode. And I'm, I'll show you the sandbox mode after we have done another run. And um, there are also challenges as well, by the way. So for example, if I wanted to do challenge... I could do any number of challenges that will provide me with different modifiers too. So yeah, anyway, sandbox mode is going to be really exciting to see too. Um, but first of all, challenges like some swarm monsters are tougher, some swarm monsters hit harder, recharge less energy after a battle, collect less this after a battle, bosses are tougher. I don't know why anyone would want to make the bosses tougher, but I suppose if you're pretty good at the game, like I'm not, but if you're pretty good at the game, then you would probably have a really good time increasing the difficulty um, as much as you can. Anyway, let's do this. Let's start. All right. Um, yeah, we're starting with just this guy right now, which is absolutely fine. And let's spawn this one. Uh, let's spawn that one there, I guess. And let's just move him a little bit more. Okay, so obviously first battle going to be pretty easy, isn't it? Yes, it's going to be pretty easy. We don't really have to worry about anything too much. Just going to continue moving up here and I still can't deal damage to this guy. Thankfully, he still can't do damage to me, so I don't really need to worry about that. Every single time you can be attacked, it is very clearly marked, which I appreciate a great deal because generally some of the time... In these kinds of games, you're not going to know when your units can be attacked and when they can't. But in Mech Armada, yep, they will they will definitely tell you and you will definitely know when you're about to die. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I appreciate that, all things considered. So let me see, can I actually get this guy dead? I cannot. That is unfortunate. Thankfully, he still can't do anything to me though. Um, I'm actually going to move over here and we're going to extend the game just a little bit because I'd like to retrieve a little bit of energy. Okay, now he can actually attack us, but we're just going to attack him first and boom. Take that, sir. 
uh, if I should, I, I don't, I don't think I should really call him sir, to be honest. But uh, well, there we, here we go. Okay, so I have five credits. So now that gives me the ability to develop something new. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to develop a new body because I only have the basic body at the moment. So I'd like to develop something a bit new. So what do we have here? Oh, that is amazing. Okay. Um. I actually, I really want chain reaction. Attack again after a kill. I actually really want that. I'm going to take that. I, this is probably going to be a bad idea, but I'm going to do it because it's fun. And we're going to try it. See how it works. Okay, so let me see here. Uh, we can... Gonna edit this one, I guess. Gonna edit this one. Give... Oh, I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough to do that. Okay, that's actually sad. Can I do this one? I don't have enough energy. Oh, I am so sad right now. But it's okay, because this guy can actually um, possibly do something once we... Um, once we get a little more energy. So that's what we're gonna do. This is going to be a bit touch and go. Not sure if we're going to be able to do this. Ooh, look at that. We might be able to do something there. Survive five turns against the swarm. Okay, yeah. So obviously there are various battle modifiers as well. And I think that's probably going to be a pretty fun thing to do. So let's try and survive five turns against the swarm. Let's do this. Okay, so we have uh, wimps, trolls. I I'm thankful that there aren't any tyrants here at the very least. And let's go ahead. All right. So let's move forward. And bear in mind, we want to get 12 energy so that we can summon my amazing new mech. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to do that. If I'm unable to, then I will be a very, very sad person indeed. Wow, that was really, really little damage. Okay. That did nothing? Okay. Uh, it's because he was blocking. Oh, he didn't actually kill him. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that was... Oh, that, that was, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> right, okay, so what am I going to do here? Well, I'm hopefully going to kill him. Okay, no, I didn't. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Oh, yeah, so these wimps, all right, these wimps have one of the most outrageous abilities, which basically gives them plus four defense upon um, upon taking damage. So this is a direct counter to my double-double, which is my favorite weapon. And that's the reason why they survive these attacks. That is the it, that is the only reason why they survive these attacks. But it's actually fine because I have protected the the mechs that I actually value at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with that, but I have now spent massive amounts of energy for nothing which is very unfortunate for me. So let me see here. This guy's not going to do too much damage. Let's just kill this. Kill this. And that's pretty much all I can do. So we're going to have to sustain a little bit of damage here. Uh, this guy's probably... Uh, I don't know whether he... No, he can't attack. He can't attack. Okay, that's great. We only have to survive for one more turn, which is pretty easy, but... <laughs> Uh, it's not going to really help me to summon my fantastic new mech, but yeah, well, we can just try our best, can't we? Okay, so unfortunately, we're not going to be able to eliminate this guy. We might be able to kill this. I mean, we can obviously kill that pretty easily. I'm just going to move over here real fast, and can I kill this? Nope, I can kill one of them, so that is going to maybe reduce their damage output a little bit. And we're just going to continue collecting energy. Oh, lucky. Lucky that he took no damage from that. Uh, well, lucky, lucky that he didn't die from the one attack. But yeah, now he's dead. 
And there you go, we were able to survive. Now, you could have obviously done that so much easier, so much better, but, well, it's me, so, you know, I'm probably not going to be doing that too well. But, uh, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. That is a fantastic weapon that reduces the amount of damage that an enemy is going to do by a significant amount. I like it. Let's go forward. I'm actually going to go to engineering. Let's get... Um, I think my body is pretty good right now. So I think what we're going to do is we might get a new weapon. Do we need a new weapon though? I think transport could be could be better. A jet. Ooh. Okay. A jet. I like it. Okay. So this is a flying mech. So technically what I could do now is I could... I could create an entirely new mech. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create something new here. Let me see. Can I actually do something with this? Mm, I could do chain reaction. That's going to be so incredibly expensive. Way too expensive in my opinion. So I'm going to do a basic body. And then we're just going to put a... We'll put a double-double on it. You can spawn it for 7 energy. That's pretty good, No? Might be good. Might be good. We could change its colors as well, by the way. I really like that. Ooh, look at how cool that looks. Okay. Yeah, so we're just going to do that. And I'm going to spawn it right here. And then we're just going to basically leave it the way it is. Because I'd like to earn one more energy. I know I've said this before. But we're going to try and earn one more energy. And then hopefully I'll be able to get another flying unit. I think this is going to be pretty useful. Maybe I want to just spawn another mech. It might be kind of required possibly to do that yeah you know what let's just let's just go for it and see what happens okay so we've got the neutralizer now oh look at that more energy fantastic okay so that's exactly what i wanted so that means that i can now spawn another one of these if i want to which i think i will actually i really like the flying ones i think the flying ones are going to be really really useful for us and let's go into the next battle this is going to be a hard one, all right? This is going to be a really, really hard battle. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to achieve victory here, but these Rhino Tours, they charge in a straight line, do massive damage. They can basically one-shot every single one of my mechs. So this is going to be very, very painful unless I'm able to outplay them in some way or another, which might include flying over the debris, which is in our way, which I very much, very much enjoy doing. Okay, there we go. I'm actually wondering whether I can attack with my flying units without being in... Oh, wow. They literally can attack me from here. Yeah, that, that was actually my bad. You know why? Because I moved straight into a line, basically. Oh, look at that. They didn't kill him. Great. <laughs> they didn't kill one of my mechs. Okay, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're just going to do some damage to this guy. Just kill him. Kill him off. Nice. And we're almost at the energy as well. We really need... Oh, you know, I really should just build a mech that is super fast and really, really light and then just take them over to the energy as soon as possible. That is the most important thing you can do, at least in my opinion. So, so let's get that over there. And I'm now wondering whether I should just wait back here or whether I should just, should I just fire from here potentially? Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, okay. Can I attack from here? No, I cannot. Well, it's better that this one takes damage than, than the other one, in my opinion. So we're just going to see what happens here. I think that's okay, actually. All things considered, I think that's actually fine. Because we're going get, to be getting some more energy soon. Let's kill this. And... We're going to get more energy in just a second, so let's just end the turn. My flying unit is going to take a little bit more damage here, but not enough to kill it, which is exactly what we want. So, with all these guys coming in here, it's kind of scary, right? Yeah, pretty scary. 
Okay, so let's spawn another one of these, which we can do right about, right about here. Thankfully, they're not attacking us just yet. I'm thinking we will move. Can I move here and not get killed? No, I can still die here, which is really, really bad and kind of sad, to be honest. But uh, maybe I can do something with this. Maybe. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. And then we're going to move this one here. That's going to take some damage as well, but it's splitting it up quite nicely, possibly. You know, I really needed that. You know, I needed the two weapon slots. I feel like I needed the two weapon slots. If I had taken that, I probably would have been in a much better situation because I would have had a, at least one mech, possibly, with two double-double miniguns on there, and then that would have been easy mode, you know. It would have been one of those times where it would have been super, super easy to uh, deal damage and everything. But now, now, now it's much, much more difficult than it would otherwise be, in my opinion, but... I don't know. Maybe not. Okay, so we're going to spawn something uh, probably here. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of damage. Uh, well, uh, never mind. It's going gonna, it's gonna to die. Uh, that's what it's for, I suppose. And we have another wrecker coming in here. I'm actually wondering if there are any more. Oh, uh, no, there are no more enemies. So if we can survive against these units here... I should be okay. That's a very big if, however. Nice damage. Not a kill. One HP. It only had one HP remaining. It's going to kill my flying unit. Yep, that is, that is of course a thing. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this, to be honest. We can kill this, but uh, yeah, that thing's going to do at least five damage to me. And then I, th there's no way I'm going to be able to kill the Wrecker. I mean, I might be able to run away from it, possibly. I mean, that's the reason why I wanted to maybe keep my flying units alive as well. Because if I kept my flying units alive, I would have been able to fly in a straight line right towards the generator, which might have actually been a bit of a strategy to begin with anyway, which I might have wanted to implement. These guys move so incredibly slowly. Maybe I can do something. Maybe I can do a little bit of kiting or something like that. Uh, yeah, I mean, that would have worked with a walker or something. But the way that it's working right now, I highly doubt I'm going to be able to do anything, to be honest. Yeah, as you can see, I couldn't even do more than half damage. If I was able to do more than half damage, then I might have had a chance. But no way. No way at this point. Boom. There we go. And that's the point. We kind of made a bit of an error in where we were going, to be honest. I felt like maybe we w it would have been a better idea to go the right path rather than the, the straightforward path. So, yeah. Anyway, what I would like to do now is I would like to show you the sandbox mode. So, this is something that people are really, really happy about, by the way. They are absolutely loving the sandbox mode and personally I haven't played in the sandbox mode before but what you can do is you can literally choose wherever you want to start so if you want to start in city 3 you can do that if you want to start in the boss area then you can do that too I'm gonna to start in city uh, city 3 and we're gonna start ourselves with a hundred a hundred energy why not Let's have 100 energy and 100 credits. That sounds like a fun idea to me. And then you can literally choose any parts that you want. Any parts at all. So if you want to make the craziest mech in the world, you can do this. Oh yes, you can do that, which is very cool. Jumps over tiles and units? That sounds fun, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, not, I'm actually not sure what it does, to be honest. I'm not sure what it does. Okay, well, we'll try it and we'll see what happens. Let's go for a jet as well. 
and then we'll just make a body of some kind. What about the impervious body and the mechanic? Uh, no, not the mechanic body. I think I think mechanic mechanic would be really really fantastic because it gives you it gives this particular mech an aura that regenerates two HP at the start of the turn. So it's kind of like a medic sort of thing. And also mischief adjacent swarm receive receipt what ah oh, look at that that's actually pretty cool that's a nice debuff bodyguard bodyguard could be amazing yeah we'll go with bodyguard and then we'll go for we want to go for something else i'd like to always roll max damage that could be amazing that could be really amazing, actually. I like the dodge one, though, the most, I think. So we're going to go for that. And then we can just basically create anything we want. So we have energy shields, repair drones. It spawns a repair drone, which can then, you know, repair your, your, your people for 6 HP, which is actually pretty significant. You have the gunner drone here as well, as well as the armor gun, missile pods, flamethrowers electroshock i think i'm gonna go for electroshock actually and that is basically gonna be it i think i don't really think i want to go for anything else i think electroshock is going to be all that i really need maybe the healing gun maybe the healing gun let's go for the healing gun too and then we can actually create a starting mech so for example uh let's say that i want to create a turret and it's going to be a bodyguard turret i'm actually not entirely sure what this is supposed to do it it jumps over tiles okay interesting um, and it's going to have a healing gun and it's going to have two healing guns. Is that actually worth? I don't think that's worth it. I think we're going to go for, for two electroshocks. We'll go for two electroshocks and we'll go for the dodging body. I think that seems more fun. So let's do that for one of our starting mechs. 18 energy it costs. Oh my. And then we're going to go for a jet and this one is going to have mm, the impervious. Oh, yeah, that seems fun. And let's go for more electroshocks right there. More electroshocks. And now the last one is going to be another jet, but this one's going to be the bodyguard jet, which is going to have two heal guns on it. And this is going to be our healing unit. So that's how we're going to do things. Let's start and see what happens. Okay. Can't go to battle with no mechs. Well, obviously. Thank you. Okay, so let's just spawn that. Spawn this. And I actually cannot spawn any more because I already have two uses of electroshock. So I'm going to have to do something a bit different here. So I've made a mistake already. Hmm. Very good. <laughs> uh, oh, well, it's fine. It's fine. We can basically just put one of these on here and then... Uh, well, I, I, I guess we can't really do much else. But we can start the battle, I guess. And now we can see how far we can get with our exceptionally crazy units. I mean, these guys are literally not going to be able to do anything to us, I don't think. But uh, it's going to be pretty amusing to see how we do. All right, so... This guy has electroshocks. Yeah, so he has electroshocks. So I'm just basically going to wait my turn and see. Let's do this. Wow, that's some damage. Uh, we're just going to move here. I had no idea they had that front tool right there. No idea. But now we can heal ourselves. Can we can we actually heal ourselves or I don't think we can actually, amusingly enough. But whatever the case, we have achieved victory, of course. I mean we have the most overpowered things in in the whole world, but uh, generally look at this. You go through the exact same thing that you do in the campaign, but you can decide whatever you want. You could just you could just choose. You could choose whatever you like. And I absolutely love that. I love that so much because then you can try 
additional things out you have the same exact mechanics to deal with so for example if i wanted to develop a new weapon then obviously i can do that so for example if i want the flamethrower boom i can do that if i want to develop something else like for example the missile pod then we can do that too and now because we've done that what i can now do is i can edit this and now we can actually give this particular thing the missile pod which is exactly what we're going to do two of them on this turret like thing and now i can actually spawn this in and now it can actually help us in fights which is definitely going to be very very useful yeah and apart from that we have upgrades i can upgrade these to 2.0 as well if i want to and uh yeah it's actually pretty amazing in my opinion so yeah let's go to the campaign and let's see where we can go next Let's go over here and upgrade our missile head. There we go. Or, or get the missile head unlocked. More energy. And then we can go into another battle right here. And then we can maybe defeat the... Uh, <laughs> never in a million years, right? I'll never be able to defeat the boss. But we've got some pretty cool places for us to uh, hide away here. We also have an energy generator too. And yeah, that's the way it jumps, by the way. I actually really like the way that it's jumping, to be honest. Can it heal itself? I don't think it can actually heal itself. That's really unfortunate. So what we can do... Technically, what we can do is we can transform this guy and we can make it so that he uses another heal gun instead of one of his... Uh, one of his electroshocks. So if we don't want that, then he can just take a turn doing that. And then he can potentially heal one of his friends, which is exactly what we're going to try to do. Hopefully that's going to work out. So let's move him a little bit closer and then we'll heal. Boom, there you go. See, now that's exactly what I should, should have done beforehand. So that's what we're going to do this time. So we're going to do this. Then we're just going to transform this one as well. And let's move this over here. And now we can do some damage. Obviously, it's going to do... Ha <laughs> ha! That's some pretty massive damage right there. But unfortunately, that is not enough to eliminate the enemy. But massive AoE damage. If we had been... Um... Wow, he dodged. That's pretty crazy. But yeah, if, if this particular enemy had been surrounded by his friends, this would have been an amazing amount of damage being done. But unfortunately, no. Not able to do that. Good damage, good damage. He's going to take a little bit of damage, but that is not really that big a deal in my opinion. We can always heal it up. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was completely underestimating which target that guy would go for, but all right. Okay, I see how they I see how they want to play it. I see how they want to play it. All right. Let's uh let's take this guy back here where he can just relax a little bit. Hopefully he's not going to get killed by the flying one. Okay, I spoke too soon. <laughs> I spoke too soon, way too soon, oh my. Okay, well it's actually not even that bad because I can literally just go and summon another one of these. And uh, well, that's actually all I can do because, well, it's not my turn. So now we can do this. Boom. There you go. Massive AoE damage right there. I love it. I love it. All right. And now we can go onward to the final boss and attempt to take it on. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to allow you to try out Mech Armada for yourself and to work out the best possible combinations for your mechs. And to do that... Go through the link in the description and uh, yeah, try it out for yourself because there are so many really, really cool combinations and I can imagine someone with the mind to do so is going to be able to create one of the most fiendish mechs that you'll ever see. And I really, I really actually want to see that, to be honest. So I'm actually going to continue playing Mech Armada a little bit more, see if I can get further than I did beforehand and otherwise... I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.